guys, this is Levi again, coming at you with another LEGO Star Wars review of Jabba's Sail Barge. I love this set, by the way. It's one of my top three sets that are like around $100. The first one was this one. Then it's the Battle of Endor that came out a few years ago. And the other one is the Trade Federation MTT, which the one from 2007. And I'm afraid I don't have that one. I wish I did, but I don't really want to spend $150 to $200 on eBay to get it. But anyway, so now I have two out of three of my favorite sets. But anyway, I'll go into the stats of uh, this set here. This is item number 6210, or 6210. Um, its pieces is 781 And its retail price was $75. Came out in 2006. Ages 8 to 12, or as I usually say, 8 and up. And its theme is obviously Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. So, without any further ado, let's go in and I'll show you the minifigures. I'll start off on the skiff here. Um, here you have uh, Luke as a Jedi Knight. Uh, um, there's nothing really to say about him because he comes in a lots of different sets. No back detail or anything. Sorry about the focus there. Um, yeah, just green lightsaber, um, there's nothing really to say about him, because he's not anything new. Neither are any of the minifigures here, you can get them in a bunch of different sets, but, um, here's the Gamorrean Guard, my personal favorite, besides Jabba the Hutt out of this set. Very nice job with him. I love him, it looks exactly like the ones on the movie. So, oop. He's got, uh... Those greenish color legs and the green headpiece, and then he's got a brown body, brown arms. He's got this big axe. So, there's him for you. Um, here you have Lando Calrissian, and same axe as the Gamorrean Guard. However, the instruction manual says that the Gamorrean Guard is supposed to have a shorter one, but th I got two of these black sticks when I got this off of eBay. Oops. So, I don't know what the deal is, but... Anyway, uh, Lando, and he got the helmet from the movie, as he's disguised. And there's his face for you. So, yeah, there's the guy. No back detail at all, but they didn't really put any back detail on the, these older sets. So, uh, here you have uh, Han Solo. And he was released from the Carbonite, and he's in his white shirt and brown pants. Nothing new about him. Uh, you can get basically this exact same guy in the new um, Slave 1 set that came out. Uh, except for he's got the white pupils in his eyes. But other than that, he's the same. So no back detail or anything. That's about it for him. Uh, up here on the sail barge, I have... Oh, come on, camera, focus. There we go. Uh, R2-D2. And he's got just a flat 2x4 here that they use for the tray. And you've got a wine glass and a coffee cup. So nothing new about R2-D2 either because he's like you can get him in lots of different sets. And up here you have Boba Fett with the old blaster before they came out with the oops the new ones. Uh, that's what it looks like. They had those for most of the time that they made Legos until up until like probably four years ago. But anyway uh, you get Boba Fett and you can get him in lots of different sets too. He's got no back detail because the jetpack covers his whole back. And the helmet and the jetpack are, oops, uh, sorry, I'm dropping things like crazy here, are one piece. So I didn't know that. I thought that the jetpack and the helmet were separate pieces, but no, I guess they're not. So there's Boba Fett. And in here, you have uh, Princess Leia in her bikini thing, where she's with uh, Jabba. So that's what she looks like, and you can get her in a magnet set on lego.com, or at a Legoland near you, whatever. Uh, no back detail at all. And she's got the chain here, where she gets hooked up to Jabba. And now, my favorite minifigure bes <sighs> from this set, Jabba the Hutt. And I have been watching him on eBay, just this guy. And normally, he's been selling for around $40 on eBay. So, if you want to sell him, which you probably shouldn't because he's worth a lot, but if you want to, you know, you can make some pretty good money off of him. 
And I don't know if Lego's intention was this, but it looks kind of like a belly button right there. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was supposed to be there, but could have just been, uh, come on camera, focus. There you go. Could have just been from the molding in the factory, but <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. And you can move his tail around here. Well, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but you can kind of see how you do that. And his arms move up and down. So, yeah, great minifigure. And you can sit on Lego pieces like that. Good job over there. All right. So now we finished uh, the minifigures for this set. Now I'll probably start off with this pit here. Uh, this is the Great Pit of Carcoon, supposedly. Uh, you can see here's the mouth, and it can rotate. And you've got all the white horns here, just like in the movie. I don't think they could have done a better job with this besides like making it as big as the sail barge because you can't really indent on a f on here you know if you kinda know what I'm talking about but anyway uh, you can rotate the mouth like I said before you can close it you can open it all that kinda all that good stuff so yeah that's basically it for that and here you have the skiff and you've got the sand pieces down here and then clear transparent pieces here so this uh, indicates that it's supposed to be about that high off the ground because these antennas here are sticking down uh, there's a sticker right here so you know that and there's also a sticker right here on the control panel to drive the ship so that's what that looks like there and yeah that's about it for here except for you have the plank to walk the plank into the pit and that just slides right out by pushing on this little thing right here. Just push it, and it pops out. So, that's awesome. I love this skiff. So, put the skiff over there. And now we move on to the main part of the set, which is the sail barge. Great, great. I love, I love the sail barge. So, I'll go, and you can... Pull this down right here, and that's how you get inside. And here you have a jail, where in the instruction manual it indicates that Han Solo is supposed to be in there, but I don't know why. And it might be kind of hard to see on the lighting, but as you can see right here, there are no bars to keep him inside, so he can you can put him in the jail and close this up, but he can just walk right out here and walk into Jabba's place, which I find kind of interesting. And these things open up on both sides, so there's another one of these on the other side. I'll show you that later. Um, here you have the kitchen, and you get this uh, green spider and the snake in the barrel. And you have like this oven and pan and all that kind of stuff. And then up here you have two chicken wings. So that's kind of fun. So there's the kitchen. And as you saw before in here, that this is that's where Jabba is. I'll stick him in there for you. That's how Jabba fits in there. He just clicks right on. So that's where Jabba sits. And there is kind of a little room back right in here. You, you can put some stuff back there if you want to. But, yeah. Alright, now I'll rotate it to the other side. And right here, same as before, that's where Jabba is. And these windows here can open up. These two middle ones. You can open those up like that, just like on the other side. And here, you have a few guns. Oops, I put those on wrong. Those studs are supposed to be up here, sorry. But yeah, the other one of these is on Boba Fett. So I'll grab that and stick it in there, just for reference. Get in there. Ah, I'm not going to bother with that. But anyway, so there's some gun racks, and here's the other jail, like I said before. And Han can usually just walk right out because there's no bars on the inside. But the lighting is preventing you from seeing that. I'm sorry about that, but uh, you can't really see it. So, there's the inside of the barge. And we'll move up here. But these sails kind of get in the way sometimes, so I'll take them off to show you some different stuff here. And here you have the turret thing that uh, um, Luke and Leia shoot the sail barge with to blow up and you can bring it up and down like this and you can rotate it 360 
But on the LEGO Star Wars video game, uh, this gun is actually up here. So I don't, I'm not sure why they put it down here. But I think it's more accurate to the movie to have it down here. But I don't know why they put it up here on the game. But anyway, uh, here, oops, here you can open this up, and there's a place to put guns or put any kind of thing that you want to put in there. And here is a Boba Fett launcher, as I call it. Turn it around. Uh, you can stick Boba Fett right up in here like that. And then you just push down on here really quick and he takes off, kind of. Basically just kind of shoots into the ground. Kind of a cheesy feature, but it's not that bad. So, there's that. Um, all these windows here can open up, like I said before. And on the other side. Now I'll stick the sails back on. So there you go. Um, yeah, so I basically showed you the main part of the set here. I've showed you all the features, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think I can go on to explain some faults in the set. Um, the sail barge is actually very well constructed, I must say. There aren't very many breakable parts on it that fall off easy except for back here like I just knocked this part off um, all these parts here like to fall off if you push on them the wrong way and sometimes they are a little difficult to put on except for that time, that time I got lucky so anyway yeah the sail barge is very well constructed both of these things are well constructed um, so yeah that's there aren't any building issues or stability issues or anything but one thing I could notice is that there should have been two skiffs in this set because there were two skiffs in the movie because remember Luke jumps from this one and on to this one so I think there could have been two skiffs and there are also a few minifigures missing like C-3PO uh, he was in this scene he should have been in here with Jabba or whatever they should have included him in the set and they also should have included Chewbacca because he was with Han and Lando and Luke on the speeder or on the skiff, I mean, sorry. And I think they could have included, like, maybe a few more of Jabba's soldiers, like, maybe another Gamorrean guard, and then a few skiff guards or something, because other than this guy and Jabba, you have all good guys in this set, so it's kind of a one-sided battle. But, yeah, I think they could have included maybe another one of these guys and some skiff guards. But, yeah, that's about it for the set. Uh, here's the instruction manual. Nice size instruction manual, nice and thick and everything. Uh, here they show some other sets. None of them which I have, sorry about that. I really want the Star Destroyer though. I like the Star Destroyer. It's really nice, but... So, yeah. There's all the instructions. You know, all that. And yeah. That's about the end of this review. Very, very nice set if you guys want if you guys want to get a really nice set from the original three uh, movies, get this one. This one is awesome. Like I said, it's one of my top three sets. So I will hope to see you next time on some of my other reviews. I have like I don't know probably well, a bunch more reviews that you can look at from lots of the new sets from 2009, 2010, and then some from 2011. So, yeah, that's that's about it. That's all I can say. So, I hope to see you next time, and yeah, see ya.